Welcome back to another Workflow Wednesday. So glad you can make it here with me. This week, I'm gonna show you all the tips and tricks I have for taking and exporting still frames in DaVinci Resolve. Now, stills are a really huge part of doing things like getting client approval on grades that you're creating, creating YouTube thumbnails, and saving your grades so you can use them on other clips. Now, right before we get started, I just wanna say thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos. I really appreciate it. If you're new here, welcome. And if you aren't already subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button as it helps me out immensely on the channel and I would really appreciate it. With that, let's jump right in. All right, so here we are in Resolve on the color page, which is where you'll be grabbing stills or screenshots. There are a few options we're gonna cover first since there are a couple of neat things that you can do to improve your stills. First, let's say you have a grade going here on this clip that I have selected. You've done the work and you want to export a frame to either show clients or use it for things like thumbnails you can right click on the image and hit grab still. This will move the shot that you're on with the grade up to your gallery. So if we open the gallery up here, you can see it. It's I saved one of the stills, the one that we just saved from the video clip. One thing you can do as you're moving through and grabbing your stills is to right click here on your still and go to this option, which is change label. This will allow you to label your stills. So let's name this one initial shot. You can name it anything. This is just an example, for example's sake. Uh, if you're working on a long form project, you can name it like by scene or take number or shot number, whatever system kind of works for you. Now with the labels in place, you can right click in the gallery and select the option, use labels on still export. This makes it so that when you export the still frame that we're about to do, it'll be named already in the folder where you choose to save it with the label as the file name so you can keep it moving and you don't have to go back and then find like, you know, relabel what shot that was or have to compare with Resolve back and forth to be able to name it correctly. And believe it or not, that is important because when you're exporting these stills and getting them to clients, they'll want to know usually what take, what shot it's from, what day that was shot on, especially if they've already made notes and stuff as to what they believe the best shots are. So it becomes more important the bigger project you're working on. Now, obviously I don't do this with everyone. If I'm just working on a YouTube video, for example, and I'm exporting a still just to use as a thumbnail, then I'm not gonna go through this. I'm just gonna leave it with whatever name it comes up with and save it somewhere I know I can get it later. It's not that important when you're working on small form projects, but it will become more important later on. All right, so this works if you're exporting multiple stills as well. So let's try and do that with two stills that I have in the gallery. Let's name the second one something here. Uh, I can then select the first and then shift click the second. And then when I right click, you get two options to either export with a LUT or just export. Now real quick, just so I can show you guys what that means, export with LUT, if I go to project settings, I can show you the settings uh, to export with a LUT properly and what that means. Now in color management, if we go down a little bit, you can see we have our stuff at the top where we set up the color space we wanna work in and there's a section underneath that's called lookup tables. Here, you can set an overall output lookup table which will be applied when you export. Now, if you choose to export with LUT with no actual output LUT selected in project settings, then it doesn't do anything. You might as well just hit export normally. I'm going to click export. You get a choice of what kind of file you wanna export. In this case, I'll just export a JPEG and hit save. The file is already named with the label we initially put since we checked that option. So if I go find the file in my file folders, we can see both are here and with the appropriate labels that I've already set up in Resolve. Now you can take these and send them off or put them in Photoshop, for example, so you have a high res image to use for thumbnails. All right, so that's it for this video. Now you can take stills and send them out and export them to use for things like thumbnails and you know, client approvals. Now, if you learned something or found something useful out of this video or even just found it entertaining, I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like on this video as well. Comment down below as I love hearing from you guys in terms of feedback or what else you're looking to learn. And until next time, go out there and create something. A lot of